If a $500 increase in autonomous investment causes a $2,500 increase in GDP, what is the marginal propensity to save? This can be a difficult question because usually we don't see marginal propensity to save anywhere when we're talking about changes in autonomous investment or changes in GDP. But let's talk about what we do know. Well, there's a few things we know. I know that the change in GDP divided by any change in autonomous spending is going to equal our multiplier. This can tell us for this question then that if I had a $2,500 increase led was happening because there was a $500 increase, I know that my spending multiplier is going to be equal to 5. That's some good information that we have. Because I also know that the multiplier is equal to 1 over 1 minus MPC. I also know that 1 minus MPC is equal to MPS. This is 1 over MPS. Why is this the case? Let's take a quick aside. Remember that MPC plus MPS has to equal 1. So therefore, if I subtract MPC from both sides, MPS is going to equal 1 minus MPC. If we go back, we say, all right, well, that means that 5 equals 1 over MPS. And therefore, MPS must equal 0 0.2. If you need to do the algebra out, that's perfectly fine. We see by multiplying both sides, we would end up getting 5MPS equals 1, or MPS equals 1 fifth, which is equal to that 0.2. So that's how you calculate out the MPS. We need a few things, right? We need to understand, one, what that multiplier was really telling us. We needed to know the equation of that multiplier. And we also needed to know how to get MPS once we know MPC. All this stuff together, we can answer the question that was brought up. If there is some increase in autonomous investment that causes a multiplied increase in GDP, we can solve for that MPS.